Hi Aries, this is the Pretty Coach here. This is the Pretty Preacher, formerly known as Leo's Love Tarot, and also the Pretty Coach Oracles. Let's hop on into your reading. Um, I hope that this message or these messages will find you well. And I am attempting to do something new, which is right up Aries' alley. So let's go ahead and hop into the overall energy for your reading. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. And the word that I heard about this card is investment. Investing, investment. That was the biggest thing that I heard here. So <clears throat> this could be past, present, future, energy. Um, but planting seeds, gardening, Planting seeds as in your resources, like the things that you own or the things that you value, things that you're able to do and do well. Planting seeds in the form of your emotions, in your feelings, who you're giving your energy to, who you are, um, you know, giving your love that the things that are real to you, the things that are important to you, who you are giving that to is, is something that you are focused on, something that you are in a state of having to choose, make a plan, strategize, and make a decision on who you're going to give that to, what you're going to give your energy to. And you don't mind putting in the work here. You don't mind getting dressed and or prepared uh, for whatever this work is. Even if it's in all of those aspects that I mentioned, which is emotions, which is family, which is friendships, business partnerships, um, <clears throat> you know, into your home, into your car, into your children, into your spouse or significant other, into yourself into your faith and spiritual beliefs this is where you are you're in a you're in the valley of decision and i know that valleys are sometimes looked at in a a contrast or in a negative contrast for that matter excuse me a negative a negative context and contrast to a mountaintop but I need you guys to understand that the valley is so important because the valley is where the preparation happens. In the valley is where all the work is done in order to prepare you for the mountaintop. Because once you make it to the mountaintop, there's nothing else to do but to appreciate. And not that that's a bad thing, but Aries, you like to do stuff. You like to be busy. You are always looking for, okay, what's next? <clears throat> so the truth of the matter is that for you, wherever Aries is in your chart, you don't have to just be a sun sign. For you, the journey or the valley, that's where it's at. At the bottom of the mountain is where it all goes down. And it's really where you get to shine. It's where all that you are built for really shows itself mighty, really shows itself. And the mountaintop is where you get to reflect and honestly re-even evaluate and relearn yourself. I want to take the time out to remind you to please, please, please reflect pause so that you can have the energy the strength even the memory of how to do it all over again for the next season and phase that is coming because with life it happens in waves and cycles never just a straight line there and back so you have to pay attention and you have to remember what you did in order to achieve success with that i am going to end this part about the overall energy. <clears throat>
All right. Now, going into the main cards that came out in response to the questions that I had on my spirit for you. In this first position that I'm going to read, this would have been past energy. So the way that I like to read is past, present, and current energy and what we could expect to happen, okay? So the way that I have this question framed is what happened in their recent past that leads them to this reading, okay? So I'm going to hopefully answer that question with this card here. We have the... The Ten of Wands, Aries. Wands is about activity. Wands is about action, movement. It is about our energy levels. And it is about what, what inspires us to action. And inspiration can be perceived as um, something that frustrates us or even the things that excite us. It could be the things that make us sad. It could be the things that make us feel kind of indifferent. But whatever it is, it's going to cause us into some form of movement. With this particular card, the Ten of Wands talks about an energy of hard work, Maybe even dedication so strong that you're the one doing it. It's like you're by yourself. You don't even mind. <clears throat> okay. Aries is known to be a hard worker, a go-getter. Even a loner sometimes. They can run in packs or they can work with other people. But maybe you get a lot more accomplished or someone feels that they get a lot more accomplished when they're by themselves, when they're in their element where they can zone in and focus. But in that, you, you can wear yourself out. You can overextend yourself and get tired very quickly. You could also tend to eventually feel like, okay, everything is all on me. I'm doing everything. I see the moon back here and it can either be viewed as like a crescent moon or be viewed as a full moon or the, or, 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 you know, getting to the full moon. So this could also have something to do with emotional work that you have been doing. And you know what? There may not be other people in the physical around, but your ancestors, your spirit team, your guides, they are watching you do this work. And I get that from the deer and the animals who are watching. They see you. So in the past, some of you could have felt like you were doing something all by yourself. You could have felt like there was a heavy load or a heavy burden on you. There could be times where you could be, get become frustrated um, and be like, you know, why am I having to do it all by myself and all that kind of stuff. Or there was an energy of you being absolutely excited and ready to dig in, ready to do whatever must be done. And it could have been a mixture of all of those feelings. You could have felt a wave of them all. Because whatever it is, it has to be done. It, it must be done. And damn it, I might be the one to do it. And if I am, let me go ahead and go at it. This is a younger man, adolescent young man. So you're in a space of learning. You're in a space of <clears throat> learning the lessons that spirit desires that you learn. That your own mind, excuse me, that your own energy knows that you need to learn and experience to prepare you for the next level that you are going. Um, when we are being taught to work like this in our youth, it's not always just for punishment or it is not for punishment at all, even though we may see it as punishment. It is actually preparation for, preparation for your desires. Preparation also not just for your desires, but for what life throws. Life gives us both our lessons and it gives us our leisure. 
So with that, I'm going to move on from that. I feel terrible because I was just on one car for five minutes. What the fuck? Let's move on. We're going to speed through these other ones, okay? The other, que the other um, question that is answering, that these cards will be answering is, what is the current or present energy that you are feeling right now? Okay, please know that this energy, though I try to direct it and give it um, some guidance, it could still flow in other ways. So you'll have to make sure that you understand. Okay, um, so here we go. <clears throat> we have the chariot coming out first, and I did not talk about the signs, so let me do that really quickly. The wands are associated uh, with the signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and they deal with The element of fire, so we talked about that a little bit, movement, action, inspiration. The overall energy was dealing with these signs of Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, which are the practical signs. Um, they are also hardworking signs. These are the signs that create concrete evidence of whatever inspiration and movement and activity um, we do, okay? So now we have the sign of cancer here and cancer energy is a water sign element. So this deals with the feelings, the emotions, the spirituality, your faith and your belief systems. Okay. With the chariot, we've got progress. We've got integration. We've got lessons being learned. And again, this is heavy with the spirit, your inner person. Okay. So these may be things that if you are sharing them with people, it's just your close people that you trust, people that you love, people that you respect or admire who are on a journey like you and you are aware that they're on this journey like you, so you trust them. Um, and that's if you're sharing. Like I said, some of this could be happening with you just internally, by yourself, in your feelings, in your spirit. Only you know how deep this is going and what lessons and information you feel like you're receiving. But you're taking the lessons, you're taking the information step by step, and you are learning how to incorporate it into who you are. Actually, in other ways, I'm hearing that you're learning just how spiritual you are. You're learning <clears throat> how your energy and your spirituality works so that it can serve you. And that's really, really good because sometimes fire signs or, air, or signs that are quick to action and movement may not always look or, or come across like spiritual people. Um, but everybody has the spirit of God within them. And so they all have a propensity to be that way, but we may not always see that clearly because of, uh, you know, if their spirit is not leading them or if they're not paying attention because they don't know how to integrate them both, um, wisely, then you'll see all that energy, all kind of over the place with no real direction. And rendering it just a little bit less powerful. Okay, moving on, we have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight is an energy that is not quite a page, so not quite um, at a low level, but they're graduating. They're moving up in rank. So congratulations, Aries, in some way in your energy and wherever Aries specifically is, both in your chart and where it shows, and I'm talking about in your natal chart, as well as if you were to look up your present chart, wherever Aries is there for you, this is where I feel that you can expect to see the results of what I'm talking about <clears throat> in your life, okay? The Knight of Cups is rising up in rank. So that means that whatever lessons, opportunities, whatever lessons and opportunities were presented to you in your previous rank when you were a little less uh, clear, when you were a little less unsure, you have still rose to the occasion. You have uh, been promoted based upon the decisions that you made with the information that you had previously. <clears throat> so you're going from a page, if I'm not mistaken, to a night here. 
A knight has more responsibilities. A knight has to know what to do, how to do it, and when to do it appropriately. So congratulations to you for that. Um, with this energy, this could have something to do heavily with your emotions, your spirituality, your feelings, and even your love, your love life, your love language, okay? Um, it's very possible that some of you guys could be either offering something to somebody or getting ready to receive. You're receiving something. I feel like birds are important, specifically egrets. The otter or a beaver, I think it's the otter. The otter is important somehow for you. So I would just say so that I can hurry up and move on from that card. Look up the spiritual as well as um, the spiritual meaning of those two bird, the <laughs> of those two animals that I just mentioned, the egret and the otter. And also look up what they mean when it comes to love. Okay. Moving on, the last message that we have for this reading, we have the sun card in response to for their highest good. What can Aries expect to experience and or and or feel in the next three? And that number could be mean it could take on whatever time frame energy you feel led for it to, okay, or you can say the next three days, the next three weeks, the next three months, the next three years, hell, the next three minutes, because time, it just, it doesn't matter. All right, um, we have the sun card here, guys, so that is heavy on fire energy, heavy on joy, heavy on sheer happiness and clarity. This is also about being true to who you are, being authentic, being the realest version of you up until this point with the information that you have, right? Building on top of each other with the lessons that you've learned with all of that. This happiness that you're going to experience is from your hard work. It is from you learning the spiritual lessons that you needed to um, and putting them into practice at the appropriate time. The sun can also sometimes indicate um, just good news, a good report. So uh, if you are pregnant or if you're wanting to be pregnant and you are doing the things, okay, that it takes and you feel things or you, it could indicate pregnancy, children, or you may find happiness, fulfillment, joy through your children or through tapping into your own childlike energy of creativity. Saying, hey, look at me, mommy, or look at me, daddy, but more, or look at me, world. This is what I can do. This is what I know how to do. And it would bring you great joy to express yourself in this way, Aries. This is most notably connected to the sign of Leo. This is a healing energy as well. So confidence in the way that you heal people, confidence in your healing powers, confidence in your own healing, The sun also is a destroyer. It burns out in a way impurities. It is a sign that garners attention. Unapologetically. Unabashedly. Because it finally understands why it's here. So Aries, that is the energy that you might be in. I am going to... Um, Pull the next cards for clarifying all of these messages and then this will end the reading. If you want to see um, the cards clarified, then you will go ahead and go over to the members only section 
and prepare to watch the rest of that um, answering and going a little bit more in depth with each of these parts of your life and and you will join me there okay um so let's get started okay so Aries for your clarifying cards you received the three of hearts coming out first which can indicate a heartbreak um, a third-party scenario possibly or it can indicate just heaviness of your mental, of your emotions, dealing with certain truths, but not knowing exactly how and where to apply them. So there's some confusion. It could have been surrounding a marital connection or um, just a spiritual battle. Okay. A spiritual battle that you may have been in could have been in connection to a Taurus energy with the Hierophant being here. Um, but that could have just challenge the status quo or it could be surrounding societal norms and societal structures like school work marriage family spirituality and faith and you got the four of cups clarifying the second set of cards you got the page of cups or the current energy i should say you had the page of cups which is I feel information and conversation surrounding spirituality and or feelings, emotions, okay? I really feel like this definitely has something to do more so with unexplored or maybe unacknowledged feelings possibly for a committed partner or a spouse. Um, you had the Ten of Pentacles coming out next, which is what made me feel that this was more of a committed union, um, A marriage okay um something where legacy is being built so you're having you were having to really um really really experience the knowledge that you needed and really get the lessons that you needed to because so much is on the line and we have the ace of pentacles with an increase in finances maybe an increase even in love and commitment i felt like somebody may have like left and it could have in some way satisfied you where in a, in a space where at once you were unsatisfied in the past. And in that space of time, you learned some lessons that really, really needed to be learned for you <clears throat> in order for you to move forward into the next phase of this committed connection for those of you who are married. Last but not least, clarifying the sun card, we had four cards come out. They are the... The Six of Swords, which indicates spiritual lessons, the Empress energy, which could indicate pregnancy. The Devil card, which could just ind indicate karmic cycles, uh, fears, um, perceived failures. And we had the Six of Pentacles, which can talk about reciprocation and mutual love. So uh, if these things interest you, then I'm going to ask you to go over to the members only join and look for the completion of this reading peace love light and darkness which all work together to bring balance and harmony first within ourselves and then within our world it's been my pleasure if you are new to the channel go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you like this new way that i was moving give the video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe welcome it is meant for you to come here and at this time when the changes are being implemented, I think you're going to like it here. Bye.